So how do you use interval notation? Well, you write it as an interval. So you're thinking what's the smallest x can be and what's the biggest x can be. So let's start with a. So we're going to say, and I really like how they write it with this x in between 1 and 3, because that's exactly what x can be here. The smallest thing x can be is 1. The biggest thing x can be is 3. And then when you do interval notation, you got to put something on the outside. And there's two different symbols you can use. On this one, we're going to use a bracket, because you use a bracket when x is allowed to be that number. So see here that x is allowed to be equal to 1. So when so that's why we put a bracket on the one because the bracket shows that it is allowed to be that number whereas on the next one you see it's not allowed to be equal to negative four and zero so we're going to start with the same thing we're going to say the smallest thing x can go up to is negative four the biggest thing is zero but it cannot be those numbers so we're going to put a parenthesis on those so anything from negative four to zero but not specifically negative four and zero and the parentheses show that so now what about c so c here it's just that x has to be bigger than five so we're going to think about it the same way we're going to say what's the smallest thing x can be five and then what's the biggest thing x can be well there's no limit so the biggest thing x can be is infinity and we're just going to say that so we're going to say that it can be as a horrible infinity sign. We're going to say anything from five to infinity. And then it has to be bigger than five, not equal to five. So we'll put a parenthesis. And then with infinity, the idea is you can't ever get to infinity, right? It just keeps getting closer and closer and closer and closer to infinity. So really it, it can't be infinity either. So whenever we have an infinity, we always put a parenthesis on it. Uh, infinity or a negative infinity like on the next one x has to be less than or equal to one so the smallest thing x can be is negative infinity and we'll put a parenthesis on that because just like positive infinity we can never get to negative infinity and then the biggest thing it can be is one but it can be one so we're going to put a bracket on that one so see often one of them will have a parenthesis and one of them will have a bracket. There's nothing wrong with that. We're just saying it can be anything all the way down to a negative infinity, but it never will reach negative infinity, and all the way up to 1, and it can be 1. 